so I haven't made a video in over a month now. I haven't been back because there's really nothing much to say. I've, I haven't been doing that great. I hope you're doing better. I've been doing mostly clothing and I'm following what other people are doing and maybe that's the problem. And plus it's boring to talk about clothing. It's like everybody's selling the same stuff. <laughs> That's where the noise is coming from. You're gonna get to see my really nice room where we throw everything. I have some um, some books, some old books. I got 50 cents a dollar, an old Bible, some Hardy Boys books. I found this cool um, this uh, duck. I think it's a planter, and it's made in Czechoslovakia. And uh, I don't know, I can't find too much about it. I saw uh, an antiques website and from Michigan, and they had some made in Czechoslovakia stuff, and they had planters, and one, I saw one for 75, and I saw another for uh, 40. So I put this one up for 59.99, and I actually have a watch already, so I don't know if they're watching it just for entertainment or... <laughs> or what but anyways I also got some of these um, some of these um, ink cartridges they're expired but people are watching them anyway I'm not sure what watching even means anymore uh, it seems like a lot of people watch and then they don't buy I've been doing well with hats got a lot of hats in here these are you usually get for cheap I got it for 69 cents coasters I thought Cross collectible Disney and American flag, so I picked those up for a buck a piece. Got these nice uh, EMS shoes, nice like almost new. Got them for two dollars and fifty cents. Uh, Starbucks mug. I have a watcher on that. I got that for fifty cents. Got these uh, these at a yard sale for fifty cents. Twinkle toes. Sketchers, they do really well, so if you find these, pick them up. I got these Converse for less than a dollar. I was pretty excited about that. I went to put them up, and it said that I have a limit, that I exceeded my limit on something. I don't know. So I have to wait 17 days before I put it up. I don't know what that whole thing's about. I don't, I don't have any negatives or anything like that. So they said that category I couldn't put up anymore. Um, which I have the other pair of shoes. I had two pairs of shoes up, so I guess the third one was was pushing it too much. I have those uh, egg cartons. I saw people were selling egg cartons, and I figure figured I'll just put them up in the closet until I have a good collection, and then I'll put them up in an auction because crafters buy them, and I guess they buy these tubes too. So you know, why not just throw them in the closet? It's not like I really worry too much about what this room looks like. As far as clothing goes, the only thing, the things that really stand out, um, uh, the Columbia, Columbia I do pretty well with. Fabric that, that wicks moisture away from your body. Anything you can get with that material will work. I had a couple Columbia shirts like that that went right away and people were really happy with them. I had a shirt from a run here in Clearwater that I picked up for less than a dollar and it looked brand new but it was and it had the, all the stuff from that run a couple years ago but it looked like brand new and somebody picked it up. Whenever you see that it's like a polyester and it's real thin and it's usually has a funky name that it just draws moisture from the body while you're sweating keeps you cool um, pick up anything that you get a good deal on that. I had a Columbia vented back shooting shirt that went for $25. Um, and even a pair of cargo shorts that had a couple spots on them and they went. So Columbia is good as if you have something that's not just a plain t-shirt or something like that. Things I pick up and I think, oh my goodness, this is so-and-so said something about this and they do really well and, you know, uh, a lot of that kind of stuff is sitting and maybe that's why because we all watch those videos and then we all we all know to pick them up and then we're all put them up and then there's too many. 
hopefully next time I'll have something more exciting to report and tell you that things are great. I hope things are going well with you. Well, that's it. Thank you very much. Bye.